I always knew there were good money methods in GTA Online, but I would never thought you can make a million dollars in this game so fast and so easily. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make those million dollars with a few simple things that you just need to repetitively do for an hour straight in order to make this big buck. I was grinding security contracts when I noticed I made about $280,000 in just 15 minutes. Then doing some quick math, I thought to myself, wow, I can make over $1.1 million dollars grinding this for a full hour and using the cool trick that allows you to skip the cooldown that you have after each contract then you can do this rapidly without stopping whatsoever and having to wait for an annoying timer to be done one hour of grinding here we go fifty three thousand dollars it's not bad but it's not the most we can make i'd say on average we're probably gonna make more or less fifty thousand dollars with every contract actually the sparrow would probably be better so let me go get the sparrow we don't have all day come on then we just deliver him to a safe house which i'm guessing is the agency so overall this one took about two and a half minutes which i mean is not bad at all that's actually a very quick way to get 53k i think the fastest i ever managed to complete a security contract was like a minute and 30 seconds that is one let's go back to the agency so what we need to do now to bypass the cooldown is go in a different type of session so we were just in an invite only a private session so now we need to go into a public and that's gonna bypass the cooldown timer and so basically what we're going to be doing is just alternating different types of sessions as we do each contract we're always hoping to get the most difficult level so it pays the most which is specialist plus that's the hardest one 36 37 39 no this one's horrible all right let's go into another session real quick Sixty-nine thousand five hundred bucks i swear this is like the maximum amount of money that you can actually make also we can see the exact amount of money we made at the top so we got 53k so far after this we're gonna jump up to like 120 thousand or something then if you choose the middle contract it's always going to take you to the strip club and it's very straightforward you get the hang of it after just like a few contracts and then just stealing something from a safe and that's pretty much it so let's do a quick in and out here just spray i recommend using a shotgun like look how fast we're freaking doing this this is crazy i'm getting kind of lasered right now but i'm actually doing a lot of good work i took out almost everybody i took out everybody in like 10 seconds we found the combination for the safe it's going to be on a yellow stick you know now we just go to the back there collect whatever is in there this time it's going to be a watch it looks like press right d-pad to collect it something like an oppressor or a helicopter is gonna make this way faster so i definitely recommend you guys have something like that but we easily escaped them with oppressor mark 2 now we just deliver back to the agency and in total this one only took us about two minutes to complete literally seventy thousand dollars in two minutes that's actually crazy there we go one hundred and twenty-two thousand. search the area for the client so now we just have to take out a couple people now tell the client to come to the helicopter even though the helicopter is about to go on fire now let's get out of here and deliver him to the safe house in the city well that battle only lasted like 30 seconds but the flying would probably take about two minutes in total even though we had to go to the desert which is a bit farther than usual for this one another 45 and a half thousand dollars the sparrow is definitely the go-to vehicle when you're doing a rescue operation that's another 46 thousand thank you very much we've surpassed the 200 thousand mark well, my character doesn't want to sit down and is frozen, so unfortunately this is another waste of time, but we have to find a new session. Come on now, GTA. So this is one of the ones where we just follow this motorcycle. He tries to run away, but if we have a fast vehicle, he can't really do anything. And then eventually- Whoa, are you good, bro? I've never seen him crash and fall off the bike, but whatever, that was weird. Come on, why are you taking so long? again how many times is this guy gonna fall off the bike holy crap not only is he taking too long but he is a horrible driver i didn't even know npcs could crash bikes like that and now we just follow him inside of here and now we're gonna have more enemies to take out once you do a couple of these contracts you kind of get the hang of what each one is what the theme of each one is now we just go up to each of these points press right d-pad to plant a bomb now we have a 30 second timer so let's get out of here i wish you could actually buy these because this is actually a pretty cool livery oh my gosh that explosion was crazy now we need to lose a four star wanted level so you know what screw the prius i don't even care Fifty-two and a half thousand and a half thousand dollars we just surpassed three hundred thousand. man the tracking on the oppressor missile is absolute garbage look at that 
All right, cool. Leave the area. Basically just taking out three lieutenants out of a whole cargo ship of enemies. Only 32k for that one. That's like the bare minimum you can get for a security contract. So we enter the hangar, then we have to look for a stolen motorcycle. We found the reaver. It's always going to be inside of the plane. Now we just get inside of it, open the hangar doors, and get out of here. All right, let's open this real quick. Press right D-pad. Go, 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 go. Holy crap. Yeah, so after unlocking the hangar doors, there are so many NPCs that spawn. Now we just need to make our way back to the agency with the reaver. If you get a low paying one, I do recommend just going in a new session just because it refreshes the list of three different security contracts you get. Because honestly, I haven't been doing this in the smartest way, but that's going to be another like what 45k or whatever that was. Of course, we got a lot of enemies in here. Not a surprise. Can this thing stop putting me into stealth? mode that's so annoying which one is it recover the comet all right the comet s2 that type of contract honestly took a longer time than usual it took about four minutes to complete which is also not bad and again my character just freezes in place i press right d-pad to sit down and that just happens and then i get called and now it's okay what in the world is this game we've surpassed half a million now i like this specific one that we have to go to Takilala. it's pretty close by and you just take out a couple of enemies and then open a safe, steal something, and deliver back to the agency. Also, one of the easiest ones you can get, honestly, as long as you just go in here with the shotgun and ram everyone. Press right D-pad to collect it. Luckily, we don't actually have to memorize the safe combination. This time, it is a necklace. It's basically the same idea as getting the club. Got a lot of enemies coming, and they freaking lasered me, but luckily, we got out of there in time. Don't even ask me what's going on there. Whatever. Well, the timer is up, and the final amount we have gotten to after collecting the wall safe income, which actually does depend on the security contracts. The more contracts you complete, the more passive income you're going to make every in game day. That's another 25,000, surpassing $800,000. So we didn't quite make it to the 1 million mark, despite many challenges like our character freezing and the contracts not actually starting up once we go outside, and really just not getting super lucky with the contracts that we get there's been several times where we got three professional level contracts which are the easiest difficulty like this one not like this one but like this one i definitely believe you can do it more efficient than i did and get to that one million dollar mark see this is what you hope to get every time you get a specialist plus for 60 something thousand dollars and you just need to go to the club because if you get the vanilla unicorn one it's usually gonna take only like two minutes max to do unless you're really struggling with it but as i said you should get the hang of it relatively quickly took a little bit for it to pop up you can barely see the stick you know because of all the blood of the npc that that's why. Got some more NPCs spawning, but they're just running around doing absolutely nothing. Easy as that. Took just about two minutes to complete that one. And the final amount we've gotten to is $872,000 in just over an hour. Because technically we did pass the timer with that last contract. But hopefully this video showed you guys that you can make a lot of money grinding just one thing. Which is very easy. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel so you don't miss any more awesome videos like these. You do not want to miss some. Click the video on screen now for the best money methods in GTA Online. I hope you all enjoy that video. And peace.